Yo, what up guys? This is Zane Saz from House of Smoke, UK branch. The Crew 2 has just had its pre-release come out in the UK three days ahead of release. So I'm gonna give it a try. Now, it's been a while since I've had anything to play with this Logitech G29, so it's gonna be messing about with some of the settings because I know that you can use it, but you can't use it for everything. So my understanding is I'm gonna have to use the controller and the steering wheel, but we'll see how it goes. That would be steering wheel for driving around and control for menus if that wasn't clear. So yeah, we're gonna give this a try. Now, I've been quite excited for this for the two weeks that I've been looking at videos from it, but I've gone and got the gold edition so we can play it early. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so let's try. Now I understand you can pick what you want to do either from the activities window over here or I'm gonna con I've done two rally races so far. I'm gonna, I think I want to do another one of those because good good kind of indication of the free roaming aspect of it. See how it goes. Wow. I'm looking a bit angelic. See, I have to use right on the D-pad to change the view. Alright, cool, let's go. So I've already had one race where like the day cycle had turned to night and I couldn't really see where the hell I was going. Oh, what? Okay. X is for Nitrous. Oh, one of my favorite things to do in GTA 5 was to just drive around in free rooms, drive over the mountains and stuff. So it's kind of cool that this feels like a dramatized version of that. Don't know why I picked it this route. The steering wheel settings are a bit strange, like I have customized them. I'm gonna check them in one second, show you what I managed to get. But definitely be changing this. I mean if you don't know about the crew, the crew it's supposed to be a kind of always online game, kind of in the likeness of Destiny and all that, where it's an always running world, online only. But they've recreated the entirety of the United States and it takes about an hour to drive from coast to coast. So lots of free roaming opportunities and then you can go into races and situations like I'm doing now. This is still technically the opening of the game where I'm still kind of getting some stuff. And I've literally only done, that was silly, literally only done dirt ready races. But yeah, this is kind of fun, come on. Um, it feels big, it feels open. I think you also get points for jumps as well. I'm not entirely sure how that works. But I push. It's kind of cool just faffing around or like this. Wow, this feels the fastest. 
Yeah, it's got the most fun with depth of field on this effect. I quite like this. You, I don't like that you can't see the bonnet on it. But. Okay, so first recorded race seems to go pretty well. We'll be doing some videos kind of highlighting us driving around. We might even treat it as a bit of a podcast, have some conversations, but I'm excited to get into this game. So it's kind of just allowed me to drive around, let's say in loop, it's moving like an RPG. So I've got parts now, I think if I push options, I can install those parts in my car. Yeah. So the customization, customization is a big thing in racing games for me. Like I feel like you lose a lot of that in like, I know Drive Club was a fun game, but you lost the customization. Like I've been, I was enjoying the Dirt games, Dirt Four in particular. I really enjoyed. Dirt Rally was good, but I felt that Dirt Four looked a bit more polished. Uh, I love customization. Like, okay. Can I even spin the car to look at it? Doesn't seem like I can, but oh well. I know in my heart it's faster. It's all that matters, really. Oh yeah, let me quickly look at the settings, just for anyone that cares. So, what I've currently got my wheel settings on is 390 for my steering wheel range. I turned down the force feedback a bit because it was a bit too extreme. In the first, very first car that you drive in this game is a Porsche and it felt ridiculous. I could change it now, haven't bothered, but it feels nice and loose. It feels a bit more like my real Audi right now with the force feedback turned a bit down. Um, I put the gearbox on automatic, but I will change to sequential when I get used to using this control system. My wheel range I've put to 390. I've changed all my settings to precise because I found that the dead zone when it was on default was too massive. So like you kind of had too much room and you're still moving straight. You, know, you can see there, which could be good, but for me it was a bit annoying. I like it to be a bit more realistic with how it is in real life as I move it. I like to feel the wheel bit. So I've also put my throttle on precise for the exact same reason brakes likewise clutch i've left off because at the moment i'm using automatic and i haven't been using my h pattern gear shifter but i know this game does have the setting for that for those who care so we will probably check that out as well yeah so that's what i've left my settings on for now seems to be working pretty well But yeah, the free room. Let's see if I can have a look in the car. Okay, so the cars look pretty good. I know most people playing with controllers will probably play in this view. I didn't even know this pickup truck existed, it's pretty cool, but yeah. This view with the steering wheel just feels a bit too arcadey for me. I like it. Too. This is the most accurate for me for day to day game driving on most games. So yeah, I like it. A bit in the game, a bit out of it. Nice balance. But yeah, 
I'm not really going anywhere in particular, but just to give a sense of scale and how big this game is, let me push the pad. Zoom out. So yeah, I was serious when I said you can drive across the states. Gonna definitely do some videos having fun with that later today, but first thoughts, pretty good so far. I'll be back with more. Peace and love.